Hey guys, it's Sabby Sabs. I am back with another video. So Christmas is this Friday and I hope all of you have gotten all of your gifts that you needed for people. Um, and for you last minute shoppers, no shame on you. I was a last minute shopper too, so it is what it is. But in the spirit of Christmas, I have decided to do a video about my top five favorite Christmas movies of all time. Yes. So I'm going to get started with number five. And then of course, I'm going to tell you my favorite, favorite Christmas movie of all time last. And there's even an honorable mention for those of you who want to stick around. Before I get started, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe below and feel free to share with your friends as well. And we're going to jump right into number five. Number five. Ah. Office Christmas Party. So I was introduced to this movie last year when I was going through the whole let's play all these Christmas movies through the month of December phase. And this movie is about a company that is about to go under because they are not meeting their sales that they need to meet. Now this movie stars Jason Bateman and in this movie you see him play his typical character that you see him play, which is he finds himself in this awkward situation and he uses sarcasm humor to find his way out of it. Jennifer Anderson also makes an appearance in this movie, a short one, but she makes an appearance in it. And the main theme about this movie is that this company has to find a way to save their branch, their location in Chicago. And by doing that, they will have to get a new client that is going to invest in the company. They believe the way to go about doing this is by throwing this massive, crazy office Christmas party and invite that client to the party. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to give the movie away, but to make a long story short, this movie is hilarious. Now, for some reason, Rotten Tomatoes only gave this movie like 44%, but they've given a lot of movies not great percentage that I really, really love. So if you're looking for a Christmas movie that's funny and is going to give you some humor, I would definitely say check out Office Christmas Party. You can watch it on YouTube. They may have it on Netflix. I think that's where I saw it last year, but definitely check that out. And like most Christmas movies, this movie takes place in the Midwest in the wonderful city of Chicago. Number four is Oldie But Goodie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. For those of us that grew up in the 80s or were born in the 80s, nine times out of 10, you have seen this movie. So long story short, the Griswold family are at it again. They find themselves in some weird situations during the holidays. Their extended family members are coming to visit and spend the holidays with them. And of course, Chevy Chase, who stars in this movie and all most of all of the National Lampoon movies, is finding himself in some sticky situations. Some rather weird ones, considering the fact that he's used to decorating and celebrating Christmas. He works for this company. I do not remember the name of the company, but I know that he is expecting to get a bonus, which they give out every year. Because he's expecting that bonus, he makes some decisions that he probably should not have made until he knows that he actually has the bonus in hand. This causes a whole bunch of craziness. And this is another movie that if you want something that's funny to watch for Christmas, definitely check out National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's with the usual slapstick humor. Chevy Chase falls down. Chevy Chase gets up. You know how it is if you've seen these movies with the Griswold family. But this is definitely one of my faves and it also will give you a little bit of nostalgia for those of us who were born in the 80s of how things used to be pre-cell phone and pre like social media and smartphone, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's a feel good movie for the family. And I just, it's, it's one of my favorite movies. Like during Christmas, if that movie's on, I definitely want to watch it. So where can you get this movie right now? So I know IFC has been playing this movie almost every day. I think it's not on Netflix right now. Cause I think we looked that up. 
but you can also purchase it on YouTube. They have it there, so you can watch it on YouTube. And I would also check out Amazon Prime. They may have it on there as well, but it's definitely a classic. You can also go to Walmart and purchase this as well for probably about like five bucks. So number four is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Coming in at number three is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Now, I was very, very much surprised when they came out with this movie. Growing up again with Dr. Seuss and reading the books and watching the old school Grinch cartoon that would come on every year, I never thought that someone in Hollywood would be able to recreate these characters and make them look exactly the way they look in the cartoon. But somebody did it. And of all the people to get to play the Grinch, I thought they picked the perfect actor for this. Jim Carrey is amazing as the Grinch. He has his mannerisms down exactly. And for those of you who know this story and have seen the Grinch cartoon, you know the Grinch lives up on top of a mountain and he hates Christmas. He's like bah humbug, like Mr. Scrooge up in this piece. And the people that live down below the mountain in Whoville, like they are just so excited and very much festive people. He takes their stuff and is like, whatever's. And they're like, oh man, all our gifts and stuff are gone, but we're still gonna celebrate the holidays anyway. It is a feel good movie. They really did a good job recreating these characters. Jim Carrey is amazing again as the Grinch. And so this is definitely one of my favorite Christmas movies. And it's another one that if it's on TV, I definitely like have to watch it. Uh, so number three for me is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Making our way to number two, <sighs> Love Actually. Now, this movie is a little bit different. It's actually a, a movie about love and love stories and relationships that takes place during Christmas. But Christmas is the whole feel of the movie with their relationships. The thing that I really love about this movie is number one, it takes place in the UK and I love like UK movies. I just, I love their style of filming and the way that they do things. Number two, I love the fact that this movie tells the story of multiple characters. So you guys ever see those kind of movies where there's like three or four different characters and they each have their own story and you get to see their own story, but somehow in the end, they're all connected. All the characters are connected. I love movies like that. So if you like that, then you're probably gonna love Love Actually. Multiple characters have their own stories but yet at the end, somehow they're all connected. They just don't realize that they're all connected. And you as a viewer, you don't realize that either until you get towards the end of the movie. Hugh Grant stars in this movie and we get to see him be a little comical. We know how some of his comedy can be if you saw the movie Nine Months. And we also get to see Kira Knightley. She doesn't have a huge part in this movie, but she is in it. And that was one of the things that I didn't realize until I went back and watched that movie for a second time. I was like, oh, that's the girl from Pirates of the Caribbean. So uh, there's multiple different actors. Some of them you may know, some of them you may not know. One that's really interesting that's in this movie is the guy who plays um, Rick from The Walking Dead, Carl's father. He is in this movie pre-Walking Dead, okay? So before all the beard and the fuzzies and the like, let's go beat up zombies and stuff. So, but you have to pay attention for that too or you you may not realize that that is him. Um, one of the great things about this movie is it has one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time in it, which is All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey. I love that song and that is just like my jam. So um, I don't know if I would call this movie a comedy. There are some sentimental moments in this movie and as well as some sad ones 
but there's also a little bit of humor, but I don't know if I would take it there and, and make it a comedy. So Love actually is my second favorite Christmas movie of all time. And I definitely highly recommend if you have not seen that movie to go check it out. And last but definitely not least is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Drum roll. Number one is Home Alone. Yes. What is interesting about this movie is ever since I was a kid, this was my favorite Christmas movie. That has not changed as I've become an adult. Home Alone involves little Kevin McAllister, which you get to see Macaulay Culkin when he was younger, and his parents accidentally leave him at home on their Christmas trip to Paris. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody in real life where their kid was left at home and the parents went away on vacation, but I've always wondered if that was like a thing. Hmm. Anyhow, what is really interesting and crazy about this movie is that while he's at home, people try to break into the house. They've been breaking into houses throughout the neighborhood, but they don't realize at first that somebody is still there. And that is Kevin. And Kevin decides to take on the burglars by himself by creating all these booby traps and, and stuff like that and defending his parents' house. Eventually his parents end up finding their way back home and being reunited with Kevin. But by that time, everything's already been settled in terms of the people that were trying to break into his house. People in this movie that you may recognize is Joe Pesci, who most of us remember from My Cousin Vinny. Um, I forget the, the actress's name that plays the mom, but she's also in Beetlejuice, if you've ever seen the Beetlejuice movie. But if you have not seen Home Alone, just go ahead and do like this. You have to have seen this movie by now. I remember seeing this movie when I was a kid, when it first came out in the movie theaters. And I remember people going and seeing the movie twice, or sometimes three times, sometimes four times. This movie was huge. Till this day, Home Alone is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time. That goes to tell you how great this movie is. Now, you might be wondering, what's the second highest grossing Christmas movie of all time? Gremlins. Believe it or not, so for us 80s babies, yes, those little gremlins come in at number two. I didn't put that as one of my favorite movies because growing up, I was actually afraid of those little things. I thought Gizmo was cute, but the other gremlins were kind of scary to me, so that is not something I would put as a favorite Christmas movie. But stick around, don't press that button yet because I do want to tell you one that I picked for honorable mention. So this movie is debatable. Some people will say this is a Christmas movie and some people will say this is definitely not a Christmas movie. It is an action movie. My husband will tell you, yes, this is a Christmas movie. And so the movie that comes in for honorable mention is Die Hard. Now I'm just gonna be real with you. I really don't think this is a Christmas movie. I think it's an action movie and there just happens to be a Christmas, you know, party going on at the office, but there's not much Christmas going on in the movie. Um, so that's just my take on it. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of guys who will disagree with me because they love Die Hard. But if you have not seen Die Hard, it stars Bruce Willis who is, you know, uh, a former cop. I believe he's an ex-cop, former cop, something like that. I forget. Him and his wife are separated. She's got this party at her company and like people are coming there to try to um, take over like the company and stuff. It's like criminals and all that kind of stuff. And he's there to save the day. So uh, that is my honorable mention. It is a good movie. I do like the movie. I don't think it's really a Christmas movie per se. And that's why I put it down as honorable mention. Now, that is all I have for you today, guys. But before I go, tell me, put in the comments, what are your favorite Christmas movie of all time? You know how we do this. Comment below. Let me know.
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Have a great Christmas. You will not see me again before that, after this video, but you'll see me the morning after Christmas because I have a vlog coming for, for that. So, bye.